Hello, I'm CJ from GoDaddy, and I'm here with Julie Niehoff here at the Freelancer Conference. And Julie's going to tell us a little bit about what she's doing here. I know you were just on stage I and was. a panel. Our so. panel was talking about um, fear and overcoming fear, and, and also the, the freelance journey of trying to figure out who am I, what am I doing, and can I back it up? You know, it's about confidence and knowing that you can handle whatever happens. You've got a great group of people here to talk with about that then, Definitely. because there's, there's such a multitude of different personalities here. So how was the energy in the room while you were up there? Really good. There was a little cursing on the stage. People liked it. They clapped. I don't, I don't know what that was about, but it happened. <laughs> it worked out. It worked out. It was a good crowd, very good crowd, very diverse, a lot of different you know, industries represented. It's great. Did you have any, did, did you take questions from the audience? I wasn't in there, so was there any good questions that you'd like to share? Uh, one person asked, what is your method for overcoming fear once you get to it? And um, there were a lot of really good answers from the panel. My answer is that I go, because I'm half neurotic, I go right to the what's the worst thing that can happen and then establish in my own mind, in my own heart, I can handle that if that were to happen, which should be the answer always, and it's really what I work at, at least with my children, to make sure that's in there, you know? So once you go to the worst thing that can happen, then you can say, well, now what could I do with that, and where could I take it, and, you know, let it roll and go with the punches. Is it wrong that that made me think of Game of Thrones? Do you watch Game of Thrones? I just started watching, but I'm already halfway through season three, and I can't believe I'm adding myself on a video for this. <laughs> But I, I love it, and we can talk Game of Thrones later, sure. <laughs> no, but there was, a, there was a quote, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody, where one of the characters says that that's how he plays his games, that's how he makes his choices. He thinks of the worst thing that could happen. Are you serious? Yes. Is it past season three? Because I haven't seen that. But I did not get that from Game of Thrones. <laughs> It might or might not be in the second to last episode, so I'm not going to say anything okay. more. Speak no more, but I did not write Game of Thrones, just to be clear. So you were overcoming fears, and, and can you tell me a little bit about your journey? How, where, What are you doing now, and what brought you here? Sure. So uh, for the last 10 years, I've been actually a, a corporate employee, not a freelancer. I was um, director of education for Constant Contact, which is a big company that helps a lot of small businesses, and I, I loved it. It was a great job. Um, in 2016, uh, the company was acquired by another company. So so uh, I decided to go out on my own. So that is where my journey really sort of started. And I'd had businesses before. I worked for Constant Contact, and I've been a consultant all of my adult life. But this is the first time I've really jumped off the cliff and just said, this is what I'm doing. And I started a business with my husband, a little media business. And uh, we do education for um, adults, small businesses, and nonprofits, lean teams, you know, little teams that we're teaching people how to do more with less. And it's, it's a lot of fun, and I love it. But it is jumping off a cliff, and it's a very different thing than having the corporate card and the insurance, and who knew insurance was going to cost so much, and you know, real life things that freelancers deal with. And I've spent the last decade of my life teaching small businesses or standing on stages and saying, you can do this, and now I have to say it to myself in the mirror every day. You, you can do this, only now it's more of a, you can do this. It's working out. And you are doing this. I am doing this. It's and now out. you're at a, a conference with a bunch of other freelancers <laughs> who are also doing it, and it's you're probably people. making great contacts for people you can work with and share ideas mm -hmm. with and probably share work with. Absolutely. I, I actually know a lot of the people in the room because um, Austin has a really good freelance uh, community, very strong local business community that sticks together pretty well. But all of the new people in the room, it's great energy, and it's always fun to meet people that have jumped off that cliff. That is really cool. I, there's a lot of brave people here. I have met a lot of brave people. I'm a, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm a corporate worker because I work for GoDaddy, but I love it there. That's my passion is Isn't helping really people. Corporate? It's a little different. It's got a little different edge to it. We can we can say it's pseudo corporate. We have a super good vibey culture, so I'm oh very God. yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Um, we're allowed to have whatever hair color we want, you know. <laughs> really? and, yeah. I think that's great. <laughs> so no, I and, and I've I haven't been to Austin since I was a child, so I'm meeting a lot of people here in Austin, and it's just a great energy here at the conference. And you have a great energy about you. Thank so you. if somebody wanted to reach out and talk to you more about your journey, would, uh, would you be okay with that? Is there somewhere they can reach you? Absolutely. They can find me on Twitter. I'm at Julie Niehoff. And um, they can go to my website, julieniehoff.com. Excellent. That sounds great. Is there anything else you'd like to share with anyone? No matter what's happening in your life, you can handle it. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. great meeting you.